This is Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Oh. My name is David Dodge. I'm with Household Easy Properties. And I believe one of my uh, callers had reached out to you either Friday or Saturday about a property you own at one. Oh, what is that, Overland maybe? St. Anne's, something like that? It's in St. Louis, unincorporated St. Louis County. But, yeah, she did call me on, on that Saturday. Got it. Okay, cool. You mind telling me a little bit about the property? and? Uh, Do you know anything about it? Because I, I didn't call a lot of calls about that specific property. Do you know anything about it at all? Or? Yeah, let me look here. I have a little bit of information on it. What are, you, what are you looking for? I mean, let me, let me ask you that. What, are you, what kind of property are you looking for? Well, I'm an investor. I buy properties for fix and flip and rent. I got about 65 rental properties. It's anywhere from 7 to 12 flips going at any time. I'm looking for anything that I can make a dollar on. That's just a straightforward okay. answer. If I can buy yeah. it, that'd be great. If I can buy it and pick it up and flip it, that'd be great. Uh, I'm not looking for properties that people want to sell. I'm looking for properties that people need to sell. I don't pay retail or anywhere near near it. I mean, I'm always I'm always looking for a deal on a property. However, I do pay cash for that, and I buy everything as is. I don't I don't need to send a bunch of inspectors out. Right. right. Five years report. I do my own. Yeah. But with that being said, I'm I'm not looking to pay your retail. If you're looking for that, I'll, I'll just tell you straight up right now. No, I'm not necessarily looking for retail. So um, that I have uh, several properties myself. My husband and I will be moving in a couple of years uh, out of state, so we're not. So we will be getting rid of our properties as we go. We have a, a, a this situation because I I just been I cannot believe I I mean whatever source that people are using for this specific one, I don't know I I, I probably get a call a week. It's just been like unbelievable. But um, anyway, uh, so uh, this is a condo. I've had a tenant in there for at least. 15 years, maybe longer. She's under rented, no doubt about it, but she's been a good tenant. You know, her rent is due on the first, and I always get it by the 20th of the month before. I, so she's a good paying tenant. Um, I have not done much in the way of renovations there uh, just because um, that's, you know, she, she doesn't complain. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't uh, it's been relatively low maintenance for me. One, so, uh, what? One tenant has been there for 15 years or multiple? Yeah. One, one person. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's been there the whole time. Um, well, she's one person. She, uh, it's her and her boyfriend. Her boyfriend has been there with her for probably the past five or six years. So it's two people in that condo. It's a condo also. It's not a house. It's a condo. Right. So, um, yeah, I, I, I do want to sell it. I don't have to sell it today next week or even this year, but I am going to be selling it. I am not interested in doing any, uh, like you say, repair or renovation uh, in order to sell it. So I will be selling it to someone such as yourself whenever you know we, we get to that point. I'm not saying I, I don't want to do it now because I could do it now. She's way, way, way under rented by about probably $200 a month. Um, but what? How much is it? Uh, right now she's paying six fifty, so she's way on way on the rent because I have other properties in that same complex that I rent for higher. So um, you know, but like I said, she's been a good tenant. It's been low maintenance for me, and I just I just haven't you know. Yeah, what's the I don't really want to. Go ahead. What's the HOA over there? Well, I, I'm having a real hard time understanding you. It sounds like you're on a speakerphone or something. I can't find How much is the HOA monthly fee? Oh, how uh, the um, HOA is, uh, I'm actually on the board over there as well. Uh, so I have a very good pulse on what's happening in the neighborhood and the, the complex. Uh, for that particular one is 181.98. Well, how much is it? 181.98. For $182 a month. Got it. Okay. Right. 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 And who pays that? You pay it or does the tenant pay it? I pay it. Okay. Uh, what about what about like trash, water, electric, and utilities, cable? Who pays what? Are you does pay all of it or? 
She pays that. She pays all the utilities. It's only electric. Got it. Okay. Only electric. Yeah. Right it's, it's only electric. There's no gas or, or anything like that. It's just it's just it's all electric. So she pays that. Water, sewer, trash is all paid in the association dues. That one eighty one a month. Got it. Okay. What are you looking to get for it? I'm sorry, I couldn't understand you again. How much are you looking to get for it? Oh, um, I don't know. My husband and I have talked about it back and forth a little bit. We, because we have done what uh, you do, not only just have rental properties, but we've also bought some and, and flipped them as well. So I, if I was going to keep it, the place, and flip it, I would go in because I like to do mine, you know, go in there and, and you know, when I sell them, they, they, they look good. They look really good. Uh, so I would put in uh, probably I probably put in maybe five thousand into it, and probably I could probably sell that one if I to do it. If I put five thousand into it, I could probably sell it for um, between probably sixty eight and seventy right now. Like I said, I'm on the board, so I know what's in there, what's available, what's you know what sells. <laughs> everything what sells what's not going to sell and so uh, but that's what i would do um i would i would probably go in there put five into it and then list it and get it sold that way um so but i don't want to do that because i don't want to i don't want to do that anymore uh, and i've done it for many years i'm, I'm just kind of tired of doing that my, like i said my husband and i are going to be moving in a couple of years and uh so we're looking to sell okay so you so, so after after you put 5K in it, you're claiming that you could sell mm -hmm. how much you're, you, you think? I, I'm, I don't think I would take, I know I would not take less than 68, 65, 68 at the most. I'm sorry, at the least. I know I could sell it for, for that. I've sold them in there for that. I know what's available in there. Uh, and I, I mean, I just, I have a very good pull from that market. I would not sell it for less than that. Completely fixed up and ready to go. Okay. Well, you're not going to like my offer. But I'll, I'm what would your offer be? Ballpark. Uh, I mean, probably around thirty-five grand. Well, that's what I. Um, that's. I, I'm saying if I was to sell it, that's what I would sell it for. All fixed up. But thirty-five grand is I'm not necessarily opposed to, honestly, because it's. Like I said, I, I I just can't do it anymore, you know. I can't get that one on my hands and knees and paint and scrub and re. I just don't want to do it. I'm, I'm hey, I'm that point. I'm happy to buy it from you. And I told you, you know, it's you're not you're not gonna like it. the fact that you don't hate it is great. So you know, let's yeah. look at it this no, way. I, I, I get it. You know, here's the deal. I don't need to buy properties. I'm only buying ones right. that I can buy at a discount. I, I told you that. However, yeah. you know, however, I do provide a killer service in regards to the amount of convenience that I offer. So with that being right. said, I already told you it's a cash deal. We don't need a bunch of time for financing right. or banking. Um, I buy them as is, so you don't have to touch it. You don't have yeah. to do anything over there. You don't have to do, right. you don't even have to go there ever again. Um, yeah. and, and I'm going to do my own inspections, which is going to consist of probably one, maybe two short walkthroughs prior to closing um, and we just want to make it as easy, you know, as we possibly can. So quick cash and find it as is, that is the services that I offer. Um, right. But with that being said, it will make it really, really, really convenient for you if that's the route you want to go. Now you already know you could go put five to 10 in it and get a whole hell of a lot more than that. Uh, but right. again, we're, we're kind of the easy button, you know? So, and I'm going to be, no, I, understand that. I don't buy properties to lose money or break even. You know, if I'm buying anything, it's, yep. it's, to, it's to make a profit. But in exchange yep. for that, I'm taking on all of your problems, and I'm happy to do yep. so, but I'm taking on all those problems, you know, in, in exchange for this property here. So either way, I appreciate your time today. I would love to take a look at it. It sounds to me like we're kind of in the same ballpark on numbers. What would be the next yeah. step? You want me to send you an offer contingent on a walkthrough, um, or you want to set up a time for me to get out there and look at it? I'm not in like a... 
a major hurry necessarily. So I don't want to make that yeah. you know impression on you. Uh, but you know, if you right, want right. to come up with me for like a week out or something like that, that's totally cool. Um, I just wanted to call yeah, because, you because I, I can tell you she's a very um, I guess she she is definitely a homesteader. She's there. She's ingrained there. She's, I don't bother her. I don't call her. I don't, you know what I mean? So for right. me to come in with somebody, I'm going to have to give her an excuse. Like, you know, I, this is something I'm going to be looking at uh, to do in your place. Maybe we would go in as a, you know, uh, maybe you're looking to paint the place. And I'll say, Catherine, I'm having somebody here just to give me an uh, idea of that or something. You know what I mean? Right. I wouldn't want to tell her what I'm really doing at the moment. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to really. do, insurance guy, you know, something like that, I can play the part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no yeah, big deal at all. Um, otherwise, you yeah. know, we could just tell her, hey, you're going to be selling it, and uh, if you want to keep paying, you know, the rent at six fifty, I won't, I'll leave you alone. You know, that's an option too. But yeah. whatever you want to do, no problem. Um, you know, right, if I'm, right, right. I'd be buying it and she's paying rent on time, I, I wouldn't be in a hurry oh, yeah. to her out. It, it is under valued in terms of the, the monthly income yep. but at the yep. same time not having to, to have any vacancies or any costs right. on my own pocket to just start collecting rent you know it would be yep. something that i'd be willing to just hold as well too so either way i just want to let you know that's that's also an option uh catherine or do you go by kathy no, I, kathy yeah kathy, cool okay cool yeah no she is uh i would say an ideal tenant because she just doesn't i don't hear from her you know, I mean, and I'm not, I'm not involved anymore in the property like I used to. I'm like, oh, Kevin, I'll be over in the neighborhood, you know, working on the other one. I'll stop by and, you know, change your front of the or whatever. I just, I just don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I, 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 it's, you know, if you're not like, the way I look at it, if you're not fully in this business, doing it every day, it's a tough business no. to be in, you know, because everything gets, starts to get real expensive if you're not doing it in bulk and, and you know, keep right. an eye on everything. And yeah, right. properties are a great yeah. investment if you yeah. are really active. If you, but if you're passive, right. it, it can it can flip flop on you. You got to be right. careful. Right. So yeah, that's why right. you know. we've, I've been very very active in it before, and I enjoyed it, and, and we've made really good money uh, doing it. But and, uh, like I said, our lives have changed you now, and we're going to be making some big changes, <laughs> moving to another state, even so. You know, it's just uh, we, we've done it a long time, and, and we're kind of tired of doing it. But I have had excellent, excellent tenants. Uh, she is probably one of the best as far as maintenance and that type of thing. She's just – I just don't have the issues over there at all with her. Right. Um, not at all. So, well, do you have any other properties that you consider selling right now, or is that the only one you want to do you want, you want to mess with right now? Actually, uh, my um, marriage situation with my husband's family – where uh, it's a house out in uh, uh, St. Peter's. I don't know if that's your area or not, if you'd be interested in a house out there. Yeah, we buy all over town. We buy all over town. Okay. All right. This would be something, um, it's a a, a kind of a a sticky situation. The house that the mother, you know, mom and dad and the dad uh, passed away, the mom was there, he had an apartment of grandchildren living there at any one time. Her son is living there. He uh, um, has basically thrown everybody out. He was It wasn't safe for mom to be there anymore, so she moved in with her daughter out there. Um, but the house has to be sold because we have a, a you know, a brother living there, rent-free, who's, uh, you know, mentally now right, he needs to be out of there. So... Um, it's a it's a touchy situation, um, but it has to be sold. It definitely, definitely would need uh, rehabbing. It, I mean, there's no question. It's, it, you would not be able to get an occupancy permit without it. No way. So it's um I want to say three bedroom, uh, maybe four bedroom. I'm not even sure honestly. Uh, but I I will talk to my husband some more about that. I said, we talked about. It. I said you know we keep talking about selling your mom's house and. You know, I, I get calls all the time, every week, you know, from somebody who wants to buy Silkwood. So why don't I just, the next person that calls me, just ask them if they're interested in a property out in St. Peter. I, I'm in, I'm in, 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 in all properties. I, I live in De Pere and I, I work in Brentwood. I'm right, I'm in my office in Brentwood right now and I'm strategically okay. right here so I can get to any property in town in 25 yeah. minutes. So, right. Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a great neighborhood. It really is. It's a very nice neighborhood. Um, you know, near a school, maybe, I don't know, not even a half mile from a school. So 
it, there is a lot of potential there, no question about it. It is not something that we want to take on um, because it also, like I said, it's a family thing. And, you know, when you have five siblings, you're going to have five different opinions of what to do. But mom knows she wants to sell it. She said it last night. But she says, I just don't know what to do. And, you know, if we had somebody just come in strong and say, here's, our, here's my offer, here's what I'll do, uh, we can get him out of there. Then, you know? so, right. But he, he basically holds up hostage there, and he isn't allowing anybody over there. Um, so we have to go in, like, you know, with the police and all that. So. Right, right. Unless we, unless we brought mom. But anyway, it's, it was just, just something that's out there. I, I told him I would ask the next person who called me, so. Right. Well, Kathy, you posted on the St. Peter's one. You let me know when you can get me in there. I'd love to come take a look at it, make an offer on that one. And the other, the condo one, you know, we'd be about 35 grand. Uh, let me know as well if you want to move forward with that one. If you want, I can send you an offer for it right now. Otherwise, you can talk it over with whoever and get back with me, or I can follow up with you in a couple of days. Um, can you just send me an email with your, with your contact info, and I'll, I'll get back to you? Can you need to repeat that? I'm sorry. Can you just send me an email with your contact info, and then I'll get I will get back to you. Like yeah, I'll be happy to. What is your email, Kathy? It's C. Um. Oh, Jay, what's a Jay? Just one? making money. That's right. There you go. There you go. Okay, cool. Yeah, Yahoo.com. Okay, cool. I'll uh, I'll email with my contact name, a picture of my card, so you know who I am, and uh, my 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 website, all that type of good stuff. I've been in business for five six years full time at this. And again, like I said, we own a bunch of properties. We're always renting and 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 uh, yep. renting and all types of good stuff. So uh, yeah, I understand. I know we have, we get calls, you know, from different brokers. My husband, they want my husband to invest, and he goes, "I'm investing in real estate. You know, I don't want to do it." You know, so he's been real. He's all about real estate, but we're 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 past that now, and we understand uh, investing in real estate how it is a a good investment, and it can pay off with some work for sure. Right, right. Well, it sounds like you guys have owned these for a long time, so it should be. It should. It still should be a good investment for you. Hopefully, it is. It yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not for us yeah. anymore. Not when. Not from out of state, anyway. Yeah. Where are you guys moving to? When are you moving? Florida. Oh, nice. Yeah. Get away from the uh, you know state income tax that kind of thing. <laughs> Marriage yeah. with CPA, yeah. so you know. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I tell them, I'm like, uh, okay, shoveling snow or picking up seashells? What do you want to do the rest of your life? Yeah. We don't have children. Don't have children. That, sounds awesome. that sounds great. Well, Kathy, I'm going to send you an email right now. I'm going to make the subject uh, household easy, or and I may even just put a dash at your address so we both kind of know where we're at and whatnot. Yep. And, uh, yeah, take a look at it. Give me a call anytime and let me know when you guys are ready to move forward. And if I don't hear from you in a few days, I'll probably follow up with you. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Hey, have a great day, Kathy. Thank you. Bye-bye now. You too. Bye-bye.